Hello viewers, it's Super GT here. Welcome back to some Forza Horizon 1. It's been a long, long time since we played this game. Maybe oh, three or four years at least. And we are going to revisit and go through a couple of races. And I've got some big news for you. And the big news is that I recently got invited to a... After this guy finishes talking. I don't worry, I'll beat him. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I got invited to a Forza event last week. And I have played Forza Horizon 3. I played for about two hours to two and a half hours, roughly. And I have gameplay from that event, which I will be showcasing on the channel on the 12th of September. So, that's uh, next Monday. So, on that day, I'll have plenty of Forza Horizon 3 content coming out. And that is exclusive uh, gameplay, exclusive content, which will be very similar to our other channels uh, because everyone's pretty much played the same preview, but it won't be exactly the same. So I try to record a lot of uh, different things when I got the chance to play the game. Um, I try to record as much different stuff as I could uh, for the benefit of all of you. And um, so hopefully... I can make quite a few videos on it and it just helped to build the anticipation for Forza Horizon 3 which will be released on of course the 23rd for Ultimate Edition owners and the 27th for the Normal Edition owners and the Deluxe Edition. But back to Forza Horizon, what a game this is. Now the game, uh, this game came out four years ago, uh, 2012 and coming back to it now you can see the the, the, um, the differences between this one and Horizon 2 and even Horizon 3. The, the, the game and the series has come a long way since this game. That's not to say that this game is bad in any way. It's very good. I, I've actually really enjoyed playing it. I've played for a good couple of hours and this is as far as I've got. Uh, so you have the wristband system in this game, of course, where you are not in charge of the... The festival like you are in the new game but of course you are uh, just trying to build your way up with the wristbands uh, which is slightly different to ha how Horizon 3 works now I can't go into much detail about how uh, Horizon 3 works I'm not allowed I have to wait until the 12th before I can release any more details um, but there are a lot of differences between this one and Horizon 3 which I'm sure you'll be looking forward to and be looking forward to seeing in my videos as we have come round the last lap here to finish in third on this race, and I almost messed that up completely. Over the line we go to finish third, not too good in the end. I wasn't really concentrating on what I was doing there. But that was on the hardest difficulty as well. So let's go to the next event. We've got a couple of events here. We're going to go and do maybe this event here. Ford challenge let's go to that one now perhaps a little bit more about that event so I got invited to London and um, so it's just a preview event where I was invited kindly by turn 10 to play the game played for about two hours uh, so I got a good insight into the start of the game and how the car, uh, how the game feels etc and um, I got about an hour's worth of footage well exactly an hour that's that was the limit of how much we were allowed to record um, and imagine that there were a few other YouTubers. Actually, I know that for a fact there were other YouTubers there. Uh, I actually saw EK Drifter and Fail Race at the event. So those two will no doubt be bringing out videos as well. And uh, I'm pretty sure there was an event in the States as well, or perhaps Canada. So those guys who live in those countries will also be bringing out uh, their content. But of course, all of our content is slightly different. We all got to say uh, play the same preview but we all took uh, different routes throughout, throughout that preview. So the gameplay will be slightly different. So we're going to buy a new car. Ford we have to have for this. And it is an A-class event. So we're going to go with the Ford, um, Ford Focus here and tune it up. So we're going to whack it up to the top of A-class, which is 600 PI, which is slightly different than the newer games. 700 PI normally being the top of A-class. Okay, so here we go. A race between the Fords around the circuit. Circuit race. So here are the assists I'm using. We're going to go with Insane. Just see how we can do. 
And the, the thing I like about this is that you don't have to win. You can finish second, third, fourth, and just rack up the points just to make sure you get through to the next wristband. And that, that's quite refreshing. So you can set yourself a good challenge here. Put it on insane difficulty. And it doesn't matter if you don't win. Although, oh my god, the, <laughs> the wheel spin on that was pretty damn insane. I'm just going to smack him out of the way. Cheers, mate. God, look. Oh my god, I'm going to go wide here. The, uh, the, the understeer, the wheel spin coming out of the corner, this thing is evidently front wheel drive. It's really struggling to put this power down. And these guys got into a massive argument here over something. And I'm going to go straight past most of them. Look at that! <laughs> oh my god, you have to be so careful on the throttle because it's just going to go in a straight line. So really feather that throttle as you come around these corners. Perhaps I should have chosen the Ford GT which is just ahead of me there. Making it just out of that corner a bit better, coming up to a left hand hairpin. Another thing I do quite like about this game as well is the, the fans rating system. So at the top of the screen there you can see you have a rating of or a rank of 250th in the in the festival to begin with and then you try to get higher and higher as you go along and that is a fundamental aspect of horizon that it's not simply just about being the fastest it's about being the most stylish but being fast counts as a style thankfully so if you are fast then you are uh, you will be rewarded typically in this game which i do like but it's not just about that so you can be very skillful and um, still rack up the points. It can lead to some very weird races though. I've certainly noticed in Horizon 2. Sometimes I'm by miles the quickest guy, but that doesn't always mean you're gonna win the championship because someone who's a bit more stylish and finished second is going to finish ahead of you in terms of XP. So it does make for some interesting um, racing. Some people are just holding back a little bit and going for drifts and you're just going full out for speed. I, I, li I like to think that the racing is uh, heavily weighted so that you get more points for that. But we've got one lap left to try and make an impression here. That Ali Howard, he's running away with it here. And this hairpin, this chicane, sorry, they break a lot, but you don't really have to break too much. Although I didn't really take it perfectly there by any means. And this car, I don't think it's very suited to this setup. And for some weird reason, it doesn't let you change the setup yourself. It kind of only allows you to um, let the game change the setup for you. So we have to make do with this setup. Very, very um, understeer happy on the exit of corners. Perhaps too much power coming from those front wheels. Doesn't really like it and I'm barely keeping up with this G4 GT. Slamming into this uh, Sierra is it? Sierra Cosworth. Please correct me if I'm wrong, which I probably am. Coming around the last corner, we're gonna finish third here, barring any catastrophic errors. He's catching me, uh, catching me right at the end here. I've just about got enough, I think. Yes, we have. So coming across the line, we're gonna finish third, not too bad. Let's see how many points that gives us. So about a second off, another lap time from Ali Howell. So now we're gonna do this balloon race. We'll give this a go. So this game, Forza Horizon 1, is currently on Games for Gold. So it is free to pick up, so you might as well just pick it up for free. It's a free game, you might as well uh, download it, or at least um, purchase it for free, and then you can download it later. So here we go, High Noon Balloon, let's give this a go. So again, doing this on the hardest difficulty. Um, these events, they are pretty much staged though. So um, they, they, they appear a lot closer than they really are. So if you slow down, I think the balloons pretty much slow down as well. So it always comes up to a close finish. But I'm not sure exactly how fast you do have to go. Just let's see what we have to do here. Now one of the main aspects I would say in Forza, or at least Horizon, is that it's only... <laughs> so as I was saying, before I crashed into that little tree, that this is a game of getting from checkpoint to checkpoint. So in many respects you don't have to stay on the road no one says you have to stay on the road so that's why I tried to cut that corner well it's technically not a corner cut because you're only trying to get to the next checkpoint and that is uh, something very important in the Horizon series I think interpreting the circuit for your own gain I guess just trying to make sure you get 
from one checkpoint to the next in the quickest route possible, which often isn't on the road itself. As you can see, they're cutting quite a lot of that. Nothing illegal about it. Going across the gravel, that's a very much that's very much part of the game. So over 50% done. I'm not sure how these hot air balloons can go that quick. It uh, quite it baffles me that does. So I'm going about what, 100 miles an hour here, and they're almost keeping up. So that's a pretty damn quick hot air balloon. I've never been on a hot air balloon before, but I'm not sure I would want to go on one if it was going 100 miles an hour. That would be pretty damn scary. So we're going to come up to the end here. The green lights, and I'm not sure which one I'm racing. Is it this uh, purple one or this pink one? So it's going to be a very staged, close finish. And I'm just about... don't even know. Did I win? Yeah, first place. Race results are won by four temps. So there we go, we won the Audi Quattro from the showcase and that is going to wrap up this video guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. So of course uh, join me on Monday the 12th onwards where I'll be bringing out my Forza Horizon 3 preview uh, videos and uh, there's about an hour's worth of video in total to be, uh, be released. I'll go through as much of it as I can in as much detail as I can as well. And so that is going to bring a close to uh, revisit Forza Horizon 1, a great classic game available on Games for Gold for free right now. So get yourself into this game if you if you fancy a, a blast from the past. So that's all from me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you did like the video. Subscribe for more like this. And I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.